Well, hang on, gang. The seasons are shifting again. It's autumn. And that means it's time to pop by a really popular spot to visit in North America. It's called Churchill. Who'd want to come to a place that's this cold in the fall? Well, how about I give you a hint? You remember your Uncle Earl? The one who always likes to drop by for a little visit but never seems to leave? Ah. Uh. Well, imagine if Uncle Irv were 10 feet tall and weighed 1,200 pounds. Imagine if every year he decided to visit you for, say, eight weeks. Sounds to me like your Uncle Irv is a polar bear. And it also sounds like you've got the same kind of problem as the people in Churchill. You see, every year, dozens of polar bears spend their summer south of here. And to get back to their home way up in the Arctic, they have to pass through town. Unfortunately for Churchill. I like to go out for walks and things, but it's awkward to carry a gun as well as carry the baby. Trying to look after him and, and worry about bears too, it was just impossible. When you think about it, it's very nice of the bears to share Churchill with the people who live here. <laughs> after all, the bears were here first. Still, while they are sharing, it's not exactly easy on everyone. Of course, precautions can be taken, like setting this trap. Believe it or not, this slab of bait is just finger food for polar bears. In fact, they're capable of eating 50 pounds of meat in one sitting. Hey, maybe the town should try a different approach. Welcome, polar bears, to glorious Churchill. Looking for fine dining during your stay? Well, don't settle for common fare. <laughs> come one, come all, gourmand and gourmet to our exquisite five-star town dump. Classic cuisine, elegant decor, flambé garbage extraordinaire, <laughs> an Epicurean extravaganza for the most discerning palate. The Churchill Town Dump, where the elite meet to forage. <laughs> well, the polar bear patrol finally got one. And now it's let go, unharmed, just outside the town. This is where the bears belong, after all, away from people. In the distant Arctic, they survive the harshest conditions you can imagine. Even the cubs take it in stride, and though you'd think they'd have it rough, they still manage to out-cute anything for miles around. For two and a half years, they stick close with Mum, learning how to tough it out. Teddy bears do not make it out here. Meantime, somewhere deep in the middle of Polar Bearville, a group of scientists sets up camp and prepares for a very cagey experiment. Photographer David Heiser wants to snap a few pictures, nose to nose with a polar bear. Okay, here he comes. Come on in, baby. That's good, easy, a little bit at a time. Get a good smell. That's it. Okay, things are getting hot and heavy here now. Uh-huh. Over me now, huh? Yeah, I'd really like in here, wouldn't you? Oh, they were looking there came a paw in. I was wondering when you're gonna try that. You've seen polar bears in the zoo, right? But here it is, the world's first human zoo for polar bears. <laughs>